everybody. We're going to take a quick look at pivot tables in Stata. Real simple, real easy, but really useful and powerful. So what is a pivot table? Basically just a useful way of summarizing, tabulating your raw data by category. So for example, imagine we have uh, valuation data on every firm in the US. We might want to think about, well, what is the total valuation of firms within given industries? So total valuation in the services sector, in manufacturing, in tech, etc. A nice way to, uh, to present that data. Essentially, anytime you're running a regression and one of your key explanatory variables is a binary dummy variable, your summary statistics should include something like a pivot table or a tabulation table. So here we are in Stata. Let's call up an example data set and take a look. So we're going to use our tried and true example data, uh, the wage data from the Jeffrey Woldridge textbook uh, that you can call up uh, using that BC use command. Uh, so if you haven't installed it already, put in SSC install BC use, uh, and then you can look at all the data sets that are available. Uh, so here we might want to think about a wage determination model. How much does uh, education level, job experience, uh, pay, uh, play into determining one's wage? And we might also want to look at categorical variables like gender and race for potential uh, discriminatory factors. So let's imagine that we are focusing in on gender. We could start off just using the table command, and we have our 0, 1 dummy variable here, female equal to 1 if the individual is female, 0 for male. And we just type in table female, and it gives us the frequency, so the number of observations in the total sample from each category. And we can just add on top of that with the same command. So if we put in table female and then comma, and we want the contents of that table now not just to include the default, which is uh, the frequency, but we also want it to include the mean of our wage variable, the mean of education, and say the mean of experience, and the frequency on top of that. Now we've got something. So again, not proving anything here, not controlling for everything in a regression, but looking at the average wage, lower for females than for males, whereas that kind of magnitude of difference doesn't seem to be captured by education or experience. That tells us a little story. Uh, now, the last thing we want to add here, uh, well, a couple things. We could put in different arguments, of course. We can uh, calculate the sum across observations, uh, which isn't really useful in this example. Um, within that uh, table command, within the contents there. Typically, the most useful are going to be averages, frequencies, and sums. And then the one last thing to add here, the real easy way to export this table into a Word document is with the AS doc prefix. So again, you're going to want to install that. So SSC install AS doc and just put that right before the table command. You can also export regression results. Gives us the same results here, but it also gives us a link to a Word document that looks like this. And it has our nice little table made for us here. And you can go ahead and format it from there and you are ready to go. So hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.